workaholic, I'm a trapaholic. Yeah, let's get to this paper, baby. $50 worth of rage and stuff in here. Alright, so I got a whole bunch of copies of rage just now. Uh, I didn't have my camera running because I was hollering at the girl who was helping me. She was cute or whatever. We exchanged numbers. We'll talk. But uh, I got like, I don't know how many copies. I'll show y'all when I get to the car. Alright, here you go, people. Let me turn this light on, I guess. <laughs> we got them rage copies. I didn't uh, film it when I was getting it because the girl was cute as hell. I had to holler at her off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight at the last store I went to. So we trapping hauling, nigga. All right, so right here we got two copies of XCOM. I can see I'm about to get those. Um, we got this Prey game right here. That's $5. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, I might need to scan to see what that's selling for because I don't want to end up like I did with them uh, South Park games today or yesterday. Um, let me see real quick what else we got in here. That game should be clearance this outer world, but I doubt that it is. It looks like it's just rolled back, so. I ain't gonna talk on that. Um, really, the game that's clear, it's all the way down here. Let me get down and see. I know that this honor game clears, but I don't think that's selling for nothing really. That generation of heroes should be clear. All right, now something in my mind just tell me that this turtle game is clear. It just got, not turtle, but uh, Hello Neighbor. This Hello Neighbor game got to be clear. There's no way that that's still regular price. Code VN is clearance on PS4 and Xbox, but it's $10. Oh, they got another copy of uh, Overwatch. I'm gonna see that. That should be clearance to five dollars too, and I can flip those for thirty. Uh, we actually got some copies of Wolfenstein too. I think those clearance too. So I'm gonna pop on that. And that Injustice Two should be clearance. So we got a nice little clearance. I know that that NASCAR clearance. Uh, matter of fact, Car Patrol on the road should be clearance too. But I'm about to go get some food out of the food department and then I'm going to come back here and have these people get these games out of the case and do some price checking for me. Uh, digital Octopus could be on the other side. He's on the other side. Uh, so I told y'all that Hello Neighbor was $5. It's $5 at the end. Yeah, I knew it was $5 because I ain't seen that game in the store in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back up in here. And do some. Yeah, yeah. I knew that was a little pricey, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, one of my flippers hit me up last night on Instagram, told me about this. I don't even know what it is. It's like a store that got, I don't know, like they got liquidated stuff for everything, like $7 grand over the day, 9 o'clock. So. I'm about to hit the highway now and try to swerve there. Yeah, I ain't gonna get there on time. It's 8 o'clock now, so I might get there at 9 30, 9 40, somewhere around there. You already know the trap all day. Yeah, so I finally arrived at this uh, event. I'm a little behind schedule.
stuff real quick, but look at this, Corsair by Seawolf, this seven for about $180 or something like that. Nobody just seen this. This is a Tamron lens for seven dollars. Oh my God! Let me see. There gotta be something wrong with this for it just to be sitting there. But it's in there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's broke.
But shout out to my Flipper Panthers place that told me about this. Uh, I don't even know what the hell these people call. But yeah, man, it's been a long day. I've been up since like four o'clock in the morning, probably three o'clock. Drove all the way out of town. Um, went to this grand opening. We racked up big. Uh, we already sold. I keep saying we, but yeah, we in this together. But we already sold the uh, Luke Skywalker toy figure. It was damaged in the box, missing the lightsaber. So I just sold it loose for like $30, paid seven. Uh, somebody bought some little scan printer, portable scanner or something like that. But I seen that it was like a bidding war going on eBay for one of these when I was in the store scanning stuff. So. I was like, I definitely got to get that. So I paid $7 for that. It already sold for $150. So I spent $90 on everything at that store today. And I already sold uh, $200. So I'm in the $100 profit range right now. And you already know I'm looking at it right now. Because I'm going to be sleeping with this by my bed until it sells. And I already got like two watches on this already. Got Tamron. I paid $7 for this and it's selling for 700. What is that, like a thousand ROI? Like, I don't know, $7 into 700? I don't know. Somebody let me know, do the math on that. But uh, in the morning, I'm about to get up and go to a uh, yard sale out in Casey, a little another part of town. Um, they talking about they got video games and they talking about early birds if the lights on come on in so i'm gonna pull up and stock the hell out of that motherfucker but you already know flip a well stretch a game trap all day five o'clock in the morning we are about here getting to these yard sales flip a well stretch a game car cartel you know we trap all day married to the grounds still trapping out of state find this garage sale, but I don't really know. Maybe I need to drive back or something, I don't know. I done got my damn binoculars out, trying to see if this the damn address. I've been staked out in front of these people's house for like 10 minutes. I'm in some trailer park. They talking about they got a yard sale and they got video games that start at seven o'clock. <clears throat> but they said early birds welcome if you see the lights on, come on in. Yeah, everybody walking around this apartment come. That I thought that uh that was 2416, but that says 2416. They done got people riled up this morning. Yeah, so I'm up out of this garage sale early. I've been the first person here, but they ain't been open yet. They said seven o'clock, I'm early. There's a lot of other people out here, they look like some video game lovers, so you know, we might have a little scuffle. We gonna see what they got. They said they got consoles and games and other stuff, but of course the price gotta be right. Top of that, it gotta be something worth worth copping, you know. I ain't trying to get no hand in Montana for the PS3. So that's just how we rocking today. What time it is? That's um 20 minutes till. Okay. Yeah. We went to, yeah. We went to a, a estate sale up there uh, about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. Didn't even know that place was there. Yeah. We went inside. Um, she bought a Versace man's coat out of there. Like one of them rolls? Brand new. It's uh, called a trucker's uh -huh. coat. Mm. for $1,600. Mm -hmm. We sold it on eBay. How much y'all pay? We got two fifty for it. And we only paid five dollars for it. <laughs> oh, you only paid five. Dang. Many others out there. It started at eight. It started at seven. I was telling him about two good K. What's going up there? 
We about to show it too. Yeah, I've been out in Tiga K because I live in Charlotte, South Charlotte, so I'll be going out there all the time. But he told me about that estate sale. I'm gonna have to start looking into that more. I thought about the Versace jacket. <laughs> I wish you would have told me about it. I would have bought it. <laughs> It was probably like one of them smoke rolls. A smoking robe? Yeah, that's probably what it was. Like a lounge, or it was a leather jacket. jacket. It was, I thought it was a leather jacket. It was a, oh, it was a leather a jacket. jacket. Okay, a trucker jacket. jacket. $1,600 retail. The man was an extra, extra large, and it was a large. So it never had been worn. Mm. You see, I found it in the back of the closet. I didn't even know what it was when I pulled it out. I just had to watch it. That's a nice find, man. It was a good find. Well, 30 minutes later. Let's see what we can find, people. This is a barnyard dig. Yeah, I feel like I'm on American Pickers. How much for your Nintendo? How much for your Nintendo? Uh, is it? Is it working? I don't know, it's not, that one's not mine. Right. How much for this Blu-ray 3D? Sorry. Yeah, I'll Sorry. get this. Is this y'all's or what? It looks like it's connected to something. Okay. I said, you said how much for this? Sorry. Okay, I'll get this. And uh, how much for y'all video games? Uh, oh, y'all got different prices? Um. Well, there's some DS games over here in the oh, $2 wow. a piece. Oh, how much y'all was asking for your uh, Xbox 360? The Xbox 360. Uh, $20. $20. Uh, right there. Appreciate it. Yeah. I got, um, uh, We just leaving the first garage sale. I got a Blu-ray 3D player for five dollars. That's the big find of the day. Blu-ray 3D player for five dollars. That's the biggest find of the day. Right now we about to hit the we about to hit the markets. Oh, them people parked over there. I was about to holler at my my new acquaintances I met. But yeah, we about to hit the flea markets up now. See what we can find. Trap all day. Hold up, stop the press. We got a Nintendo Switch. How you doing? I'm pretty good. How much would you charge it for the Nintendo? Okay. How much would you charge it for the video games like the PlayStation? Okay. I don't like them prices, but you know I can talk her down if you find something we like. Okay. Oh shit, I know they ain't got Sonic Mania Plus. I might have to get this for 25. Y'all got change for 40? So, I just bought a Nintendo Switch game for $20 and basically paid $3 for a brand new PS2 game that's selling for 40. Uh, that Mario, not Mario, but that Sonic Mania that I just bought, that game right there, it's kind of rare for the Nintendo Switch. And it's the plus edition, not just the Mania, but it gotta be plus. So that's the reason I picked that up, cause brand new, I mean, I seen that thing sell for $89 around Christmas time. So, I mean, it's pre-owned. They don't do tattoos. I, I'll draw tattoos, but I don't actually put them on people. But 
but uh, I do all these, so these are all mine. You uh, are you drew these? Yeah, these are all mine. Everything here is done by me. Uh, anything this size, they're ten dollars each, or three for twenty-five, and then the large-scale ones, I got a bunch of them. They're each uh, six. You got like any video game type related There's stuff? There's a bunch of stuff in that book, yeah. If you want to flip through, man, you're more than welcome. Like in the big version, too? Do what? Like the big, big version? Like the um, big version? I got, I got the Reaper you got War Dragon from Power Rangers. Okay. This one here. Oh, okay. And the helmets. Uh, and I got this one, it's a large one like this. Oh, okay. And how much is that? The large ones are 60. Okay. And then um, anything that size is 10 or 3 for 25. Like I guess the prints. Yeah, yeah, these are prints. How much uh, do, you, do you sell your originals, or do you got originals, or you probably just do? So most of them, don't, none of those have originals. They were all done so digitally. digitally yeah. um, I mean, I have some stuff with me that's originals. I think I got like two left. I got some stuff from My Hero Academia. Uh, I got a Bakugo from My Hero Academia. And, uh, so before I did the digital version, I have some originals that I did. But they're grayscale, they're not uh, colored. Uh -huh. Like they're just painted on Yeah, do you got like a uh, Instagram or something like that? Yeah, yeah, so everything right here. I mean, normally I got it up in the wind stand below and everything. So on the bottom here, got my Instagram, email, and my name for Facebook. Okay. Well, yeah, because I might try to see if you can do some custom work for me. Cool, man. Because I'm an uh, artist, I do the music, so. I might need you to do like a cover or something like that. Okay, yeah, let me know, man. Nah, I'll hit you up, I like to work. Thank you, bro, let me know. All right. All right, of course y'all know. I'm trying to clean up my little van. Anyway, of course y'all know I'm up in another Walmart. Uh, Look like we got a couple clearances, but they're not marked. I'm gonna have to get somebody to bring them out and scan them. And that's actually the game that was showing up for one dollar with that Batman VR at one Walmart. Yeah, I was trying to scan that XCOM, uh, that Prey, that Paw Patrol, and that Outlast. Yeah, that XCOM. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got my phone right here. I just need to get like to the back of the barcode. It should be five dollars. Yeah, yeah. I want to get all of those XCOMs. That's one, two, yeah, all of those. But then I was trying to scan that prey. I hope that like one dollar. Here it should be one dollar. Yeah, I wanted to get those crazy. I'm just scanning this out, man. I wanted to get that Paw Patrol, because I know that Paw Patrol is $5. Oh, that out, man, is none, darling. Uh, that Paw Patrol, uh, yeah, it's right here. I'm going to scan the black to make sure it's fired on. God damn, that's 19. Uh, yeah, that's all out of that case then. Oh, matter of fact, this Friday the 13th, I almost forgot about that. That should be fired out of too. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get both of these. And, uh... Oh, yeah, and I wanted to peep out, uh... Is that medieval and then that W2K18 in the cut? Damn it, man, it's showing up. 
I guess he probably could do a price check with this. I ain't even gonna worry about that. I just wanted to check this one. Nah, and I know these five dollars, I might get these. Uh, yeah, y'all yeah, saw it, people. That's how you uh, that's how you go to a Walmart and shut it down. You know, if you already know what's on clearance. And you see it just sitting there in the case and you already got it out of one Walmart, just scan it, you feel me? Yeah man, but we just went in there and shut this Walmart down. So there's a couple little more spots I know that got some profit, but for now, uh we gonna be easy with what we got because I gotta go back to the crib, ship packages off. I had to really step out to get some bubble wrap because I ran out of bubble wrap. I gotta do some drop shipping as well, but uh, let me show y'all what I got when I get in the car, cause I don't even remember what the hell I bought. But all of these games go on FBA. You already know that, so trap all day. Okay, so this is what I'm working with right here. These are all the games we just got. Nothing major, nothing major. But the thing is, these XCOM games, I should have put these on the top. Let me rearrange this real quick. And I gotta go to Lowe's or something and get a box to ship this uh, Charizard or whatever that Pokemon Dragon is out that I sold for $400. I gotta ship that out. But I sold these games, I sold a copy of this for like $30 the other day. And I thought these XCOM games weren't really flipping for nothing, but this like a, a special edition that got over $100 in value. And I just noticed that when it sold, cause I was like, damn, this sold. Matter of fact, let me scan this with my uh, Amazon app to see exactly what it's flipping for FBA. Cause I didn't even do that, I don't think. Oh, I know what it was. I was restricted from selling this for some reason. And I don't know why. But yeah, brand new $37.99. So you talking about 30, 60, just like a hundred dollars right here, just off of these three copies. We only paid $15. And these kind of heavy for some PlayStation games. Uh, Medieval, this selling for in the 20s. And I flipped this before and I also gave my ex-girlfriend son one of these for uh, Christmas, I believe. And Friday the 13th, one of my favorite games, I'll tell you that. Not really selling for much, but just selling for in the 20s. Prey, we got this for $1 at a Walmart the other week. And at Walmart, they had like probably about five or six copies one day for probably like, I think it was like uh, $3 and I skipped on them because they were selling for so low. I don't know why I skipped on them. Sometimes I do stupid things. But anyway, it was one on the shelf, I guess, probably about six, seven months later that was hidden. And I was like, that gotta be a dollar now or three cents. And of course it was. But we about to take it back to the crib, get these packages shipped off, cause people probably about to give me negative feedback cause I ain't shipped their orders off. So let's get it. So if y'all seen the mistake or not, I just gonna go ahead and edit the footage and air it and let some people say, oh, you dumbass, you made the mistake of not getting that game. But in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about, that Everlast uh, Outlast game that we just scanned and it was $9 and I just threw it back like a dummy. Like I ain't gonna get that. Look at this, $82 brand new, $75 brand new, $79 brand new. Trap all day. Yo, shout out to the world, Alex. You already know, trap all day. And, um... So I'm taking my ass back up there and buying that for $9. So I think I actually seen this game at other places. And this game was clearance for the longest at so many stores, Target, Walmart. I ain't even planning to go to the post office today, but some little boy bought uh, some little Lego movie or something for me that I had for I don't know how long. I had like two copies. I had one stash, found it, put it online. But anyway, he wanted me to send this Lego thing off to him for his birthday. On Friday, I guess they're gonna be watching the movie at his birthday. So 
Uh, I went on and came up to the post office and mailed that off. Now we about to go ahead and go back and make up our mistake and get this Outlast game for PS4 for $9 that's selling for over 80. And I think I'm gonna price mine like at 100 and something and just sit it. Cause, <laughs> I mean, if there's no more new copies, what else can you do? You know what I'm saying? It's like only like a couple copies on eBay listed. So that's what I'm about to do. Uh oh, got a little wet wet for the night. Video. Yeah, man, I could have avoided this whole trip because I remember when I scanned it and I saw that it was nine dollars. What did I say? Let me scan this and see what it's selling for. But I did it. But when I got home, I thought about it. I already got a copy of that brand new for my collection. But I mean, hopefully they got more than one. I ain't really look at it, but I think that's the only one they got. Hopefully it's still in here, man. But after this, I'm going to go to another Walmart since I stepped back out, you know. And then after that, we're going to call it a day. All right, there she go, boys. Let me go get some assistance. All right, here it is, people. We got it. Brand new seal. Got a little plastic rips right there, but, you know, let me get the back of it so y'all can take a gander at this. So you got one, two, three games in one. All right, this is what I like to see right here. This is loyalty right here. Last week episode 194. This week episode 194. Look at this. 266, 260, 260. That means people tuning in for the program regularly. And this is all off of no promotion, no fancy titles like most people do. Hey, I made $50 million in one hour, you know, so this is secret society, all we ask is trust, I mean, if I keep uploading, if I keep uploading, it'll blow, I'm telling you, it'll blow, if I upload twice a week, three times a week, five times a week, hey, we about to turn it up, though, trap all day. And this I'm a reselling channel. It's not it's not even about the digi trapping and all that. It's not even about views or nothing like that. It's just about me from the music too. It's not about how many streams I get, how many listens I get. It's all about me just basically documenting my life basically. Like my records telling how I live, everything I rap about. That's how I'm living. Look at that. I'm at 1,011 followers. Uh, plays last 24 hours, 6,406. I got 3.39 million plays total. Last seven days, 44.8K. 